Hello Kingsman, welcome back. Today we have another Napoleonic Total War 3 battle. This one is a 4v4 set in by Anderson playing as 10 Point Austria. Now, um, I had to start immediately because already you have uh, a Russian Naurod. So an 8-pointer who has some skirmishers who are going to get run down by Elba. Um, of all people. So he's going to chop up these uh, basically skirmishers, make short work of them. But as you can see on the battlefield, a lot of guerrilla forces, both the Ottomans, 9-point Ottoman and 8-point now Russia, um, are bringing a lot of guerrilla units. You have some uh, light lancers way back here, some more cap way back here. So uh, the French are going to have to be very careful. Like I said, 8 Russia, 9 Ottoman, and then we of course have a 9-point Sweden. Uh oh, we have some more cab getting charged by some dragoons here, but they are going to try to get themselves out of there. Are they going to be able to here? As some of them are getting ridden down here. Yeah, he's going to get them out of there. Thankfully, using the tree. In fact, maybe using a little bit of his uh, calf here. I know I'm getting distracted from the factions. Um, While well, these dragoons are running for their life now, as to not get flanked. Uh, like I said, 10 point Austria, 9 point Russia, 9 point. Ottoman and sorry not Russia Sweden and then a point Russia I've repeated myself three times now um, facing them is going to be a 12 point France don't see them brought very often as it is such a high point um, we are gonna see a 10 point in Spain France of course a three point Elba um, and I believe there is where's the other one there we go 11 point France as well so all France, all very deadly factions. Elba, now, we do not see Elba very often here. Uh, they, of course, I believe, stand for the island of Elba, I'm assuming. And uh, I do believe they bring a lot of more elite line infantry. Um, not all, as you can see, they have some hussars, some lights. But they bring some really good quality infantry, not a lot of it. But they do bring some. Now, over here, you can see France. 12 point France bringing up the Chasseur Cheval. Um, four units of it is moving up on this side. We do have some uh, cab making their presence known. No, that's just a general. And oh, there it is. So a lot of cab here. We believe Murat is there with some carabineers, chasseurs, and the like such. So over here, France look like they may be uh, interested in getting really close as these skirms are going to put down stakes. Excellent stand. Now let's bounce over here because I do believe the fighting between Austria and France is so far away. So far away. But that's what makes these battles so amazing. Um, so France here. We got Murat um, as a Chester Cheval unit. Um, we got Carabineers. We have Dragoons, Chester Cheval, and more Dragoons. So... Um, oh, and more Cressieres. So Austria is going to have a little bit of a struggle here um, as they just have some Dragoons, I believe some Massars, more Dragoons and Dragoons. Um, they do have some Cressieres, two of them, and a three-pounder. I don't like this face-up. You just stagger units a little bit. If they did a full frontal charge, you would not do well. These units would not do well. Now, you do have the Cressieres rushing in, but if they sent, if France sent, like... The Carabineers and Cressieres to meet these two, and then their Dragoons and Chester Cheval hit this. I think they would win. Hands down. Now the infantry is moving up. Um, we've got some squareable line infantry here. And it looks like Austria is planning on sweeping this direction and claiming this pointer. Now, it is a one pointer. And it uh, looks like Sweden is making a decision to push up through the village here and uh, help claim this town. Now we do have. I think I hear some cab yelling like they're going to charge. Now, oh, that's a huge unit of hussars. 185 cab unit of hussars. My goodness. They're going directly into town. To the enemy. Um, now, house has been taken by some Voltigeurs, Swiss, and we do have a 10-point Spain army pushing up on the flank here. So Sweden's gonna have to stake their claim to some part, maybe use these buildings as an outline, maybe use the tree line. And we do have horse artillery pushed up, eight pound horse artillery going to try and pin down maybe some infantry, maybe some cav. 
both these sides kind of give me the vibe of... I mean, they're just stacking the units one on top of the other. I do hear some cab over here, and it looks like Russia is... Yep, Russia is going to be engaged. Here, we do have skirmishers who fired to the chest here, Cheval. Um, got some more line infantry, some line infantry that got shot. You can see, actually, they broke the Chasseur Cheval, but here come the masses of Curessiers and Chasseur Cheval to try to break the Russians. Now, I do believe that the Russians and the, like, all the coalition can use this to the advantage. Suck the cab in here. As you can see, they're actually firing with some skirmishers, getting some deadly shots here. Already broke one of the Chasseur Cheval. These Cressiers are losing a lot of men, as you can see. They're pushing out with more Cressiers. Ottomans can just swing around the flanks, hopefully. Now, Elba did smash in with some C8s. Um, did break a lot of skirms, it looks like. But they have a huge chance here, maybe, to uh, break the French heavies. Now, France we'll should be building, pulling huh? his heavies out right now. They are tired. If you don't pull them out right now, they are going to break and be run down and executed basically now we have a general napoleon bonaparte himself gonna inspire these men to keep fighting here um if if they can get around the flank the kazakis and ottomans getting around the flank send some more cab in to break this center keep them occupied we do have ooh some swedish heavies now gonna go in we have also some life hussars so they are gonna, or Sweden's gonna throw in their heavies as well. Oh, I'm even missing a cav engagement over here. No, line infantry engagement here. Oh man, so it looks like Austria was able to get in the building and now they're gonna hold it, put up some volleys of fire. We do not want to miss a very crucial point in this battle though. Um, the lo loss of French heavies could be huge. Um, as then the 12 pointer would not have any of their heavies and I think they may have thrown them away. Now they broke a lot of Narod and maybe Ottoman troops. But the question will be, at the end of the day, is it going to be worth it? Will it be worth it? So we will see. Um, as we now go over here where Austria looks like they rushed in the house. Now France has sent in some of their grenadiers. So line of tree versus grenadiers. We will see who takes this house. Austria did also charge some of the grenadiers to charge into French grenadier, grenadiers' uh, flank here. As you can see, that is going to cause a huge break here as they are now wavering and now they're gonna get followed and break some of very great units of grenadiers so austria looking okay here now they are starting to lose some units against the volleys of the french 11 point and uh, that's going to be a problem here now they have artillery pushing up here they have some pressiers up here now these voltigeurs are gonna start doing some damage i don't see any french cab defending that I would charge that. Maybe shift over these the hussars the and hit this. This is a lot of money, and this is not only causing death, but also morale debuffs. Um, let's not miss this action over here. I hate when the battles everywhere. So now that Russia has kind of cleaned up with the Ottomans cleaned up, they are now going to be charging in. Looks like they actually broke some uh, line infantry here. They actually have Ottoman cav trying to chop up this uh, infantry of Elba. A lot of it cannot form square. They're actually getting even charged in the building here. Now, Joseph Napoleon Bonaparte is in danger, as is the artillery. So it looks like actually another general, Elba's general, is as well. Now, this whole mass of infantry is going to get charged here. Now, it should be thick enough to absorb the Kazakis and uh, break them. But uh, Russia's going to set up even more. We do have our left 12-point France against the Ottomans. This is not going to go well for the Ottomans. I can guarantee that. But if they can break Elba, then they can uh, refocus here. France over here is not really getting aggressive. Um, Austria and 11-point France are kind of... This is a lot of 1v1s, it feels like. And here we go. Those Hussars made short work of the Voltigeurs. Uh, kind of the thing I was afraid of, I should say. These units just got shot to pieces while in square formation. Um, and now France too late is shifting over some cab to kind of defend this side. You gotta have your cab split up in order to be truly able to uh, wage a good defense. Uh, now we do have this cab all in one straight line. They should stagger. They should have some units that are gonna flank, some units that they choose to go in, a, in the front here. Now these guys can form square and they're gonna push up and get really nice and close. They're shooting down the uh, French cab. Now oh, we also man, seem to have a lot of dragoons here pushing up on the back. 
Elba has finally been able to extract themselves from any enemy cav. Ottomans now over here gonna be having a shooting match. Now these are mostly skirmishers. And uh, they are gonna be... This is gonna be an interesting fight. A line battle with skirmishers. It's not gonna go up with the Ottomans. Every time the French get in close, they will just melt these skirms. Now they are gonna do some cab charges. Take on some of this line infantry. What do we got going on here? Ah, uh, we did have a cab engagement, it looks like. Um, ooh, actually, the Dragoon's really chopping up the, the Austrian line. Now, France is massively outflanked here. You can see they're taking some heavy losses here. In fact, there was even a catch engagement. It looks like the square helped to hold, as well as these heavies of Austria were able to charge in. This battle is happening in so many places at once, I am not going to be able to catch it all. I am so sorry, guys. Um... A general, though, getting charged by Murat. The Chasseur Cheval make a short work of the Austrian line here. As you can see, more Austrians falling back. They need to fix this. They need to send their cab over to kind of charge in the back lines here. Try to salvage this because they are winning on this left flank. Now, we do have France hovering behind Sweden. Sweden kind of uh, looks like they are having some street fighting here against the 10-point France. Elba kind of being left alone. Uh, Ottomans kind of having a uh, 1v1 as well with a 12-pointer. Maybe they can do well. These units are going to be deadly. Um, they are actually dropping this unit. That many skirmishers firing. They actually are doing a really good job. Who knew? I would not think that this would work out. Yeah, see, they're breaking them because they're we such small units. What? Oh, Nowrod. So the Russian Nowrod, right, butchering that too, was able to snipe the general of this 11 point France, I believe. And now France is in a little disarray here. The artillery's not even set up now. France, um, Spain, France is sending over their cuirassiers and dragoons here. This is going to be messy as these guys cannot form square. And uh, these units are not forming. So, okay, they did form square. But the artillery is not even unlimbered. And look at how this fight... Men are this fight, for... guys, is in three different places at once. Three different places. All spaced out. There's this one, this one, and this one. So, uh... Anyway, let me get the minimap back. A general has died. Man, Narod is really doing a good job of just killing the French morale, taking out Michael Ney. Or, not Michael, my bad. But he's taking out Ney and uh, causing uh, so the French to have some real problems here. You see the morale actually not doing that well at the moment. But they're going to keep shifting over cab. They lost their Cressiers. I think the French need to be a little more cautious and a little more uh, careful with their heavy cab. You can't leave it in too long. I mean, this is going to get shot to pieces. And uh, you can't fight very long. Now, over here. So let's let's focus on this battle really fast. So we got Sweden engaging Elba in the town here. Very disorganized. Tough fight here. These are some Assars taking on some uh, battalion of Napoleon. Line infantry breaking. And like I said, this is a street oh, fight, basically. Running. You got the street fight, you got the line fight, and you got the skirmisher fight, basically. Um, but this actually French, I think this 12 point France bought, brought a lot of heavy cav and that's why they are losing. They don't have enough infantry. Um, and yeah, these skirms are just shooting them to pieces. And this cav is sitting behind just really breaking them to pieces. No general to really inspire them. I don't know what happened to Napoleon, but he's no longer there to hold the morale of his men. It looks like Austria still kind of holding their ground. They have it. We'll see. Uh, France. We killed their general, Ooh, Austria oh, actually is break. having some real problems here. We got some cab in the back lines. And we have a huge Dragoon unit going against the artillery. And they're just going to smash in to the back line of Austria. So Austria is in danger of a mass routing. So still looking bad. France could still seize the initiative here. Um... Yeah, this cab's just going bit by bit and just chewing up this Austrian line. They need to reform here by the LOC. They're shifting over their cab, their heavies. But the damage has already been done. 
Austria is in shambles here as now Sweden is facing off against a 10 point for France still. Who is holding with Elba still fighting in the town. And Elba looks like they are badly bloodied. They have taken out a lot of Aust of a lot of Sweden. I don't even want to focus too much on Sweden. It looks like they've been doing some bayonet charges and they have some units on this side. Putting up a fight against Elba. Elba seems really concerned about that now, Rod. Over here, uh, looks like just... Branson's getting surrounded by skirmishers. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. These guys are getting shot to pieces and they're getting charged in the back. Um, it's just bad. All around, I think France is going to die right here. Elba could be using some more units here trying to break. If they can break Sweden, Austria is very badly bloodied. Um, as you can see, Austria being charged here. Our men are running. Their cab are broken. She uses infantry to try to shoot into the back of these dragoons. Austria is... Uh, Barely alive now. They are holding by this LOC, but I think France actually may be getting the upper hand here. Finally. Um, they with that cav, that crucial hundred and like what? 80 men cav unit. France over here is not really being aggressive. I, I don't know if they're just waiting to see how this fight over in the town goes. Um, but uh Sweden is uh not holding back. They are trying to push them out of this LOC. Elba trying to hold here now. Like I said, they are getting hit hard by this Russian Narod. Who keep charging them in the back where they can't form squared. Look at this, just the hit and run tactics. So all tactics being used, yeah, line fights, skirmishers, cab fights, guerrilla warfare. I mean, you we got it all. We got it all here. Elba actually may be finally totally gone. Um Russia may have just totally finished them, and so France will be on their own here. Um, now, it just it depends on Austria holding. They do have some cab that did a back charge here, some dragoons doing a back charge, but they already get squashed by some cressiers. Our men are running, sir. And here comes that Dragoon unit again. Oh no, they form square. And they're gonna get themselves out of there. 186 men left. That that could change the course of this battle, to be sure. Um oh, these poor guys getting shot. So Austria does have some reserves. They are pushing up here. They also should call them these units. These units are so thin. Their morale won't hold very well. They need to call them up, make them all nice and thick. Um, in fact, all these troops, all these different armies seem to be having their them like strung out like vanilla warfare. This is not vanilla, this is NTW3. You should uh unless you have really good morale, half the units in a plump like this. Seems kind of useless, but it actually works really well. Now let's check on 12 point France. I think their fate was sealed a little while ago, but uh, yeah. These skirms basically have just been shooting them down, and then infantry and cav just keep repeatedly charging. And 12 point France is no more. 12 point France has marched into this open field, and the Ottomans basically shot them to pieces. So, first win, I would say, or second win. Elba's gone, so that's the first win. 12 point France gone, second win. Third win will be either 10 point France or it's going to be 11 point France being lost. Now, that Dragoon unit is oh, smashing oh, into the Austrians once again here. They need to kill this Dragoon unit because they are just destroying. I mean, they're, they're sort of slaughtering them now. But they're gonna get them out of there. As you can see, they uh, have some cuirassiers and dragoons. They are just gonna slowly, I think, destroy the Austrian army. Um, who will, you know, it just depends on who breaks first. Uh, Sweden is now starting to make a mass push here. France still has some cab left. Their artillery is gone here, broken. But Sweden's gonna start pushing up and France actually is contented to pull back a little bit. They are defending this flank here. 
got some Swiss. And uh, now Sweden just has to wait for the Ottomans to show up here. The Ottomans are going to get here. Now, I don't see a whole lot of Naurod left. Um, there's a couple, though. We have some skirms. I hear a charge. Oh, uh, we got Elba getting chased off the battlefield once again. Um, but so the, the Russians are shifting over their calf here. I think they're going to try to help out like, on this side as, well, <laughs> this heavy calf. He's just looking for the choice bits of uh, targets to hit. And the general is on their menu as they are curving around this side. They're going to break this unit. And this general is running around the building. Sir, your general has been killed. And this unfortunately, he got day. shot. So Austria is now going to be a little bit in shambles here. But they have distracted a huge... Um, French Cav Force. So, uh, now it looks like France may be trying to go with the National Guard, pushing into this LOC that has Grenadiers. There are still some Austrian troops left. Sweden is going to start pushing on France. France reforming to meet them. It's still, like I said, holding this LOC. And, uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Sweden decides to let the Ottomans deal with the town while they start pushing around this flank. The good news is they don't. The French don't have artillery over here. They have some cav, but no artillery. And the Swedish have cannon. So they have outgunned the French. So this battle is now starting to get underway. It looks like the French are now going to charge in. Actually, Austria has a lot of infantry left here. And I wouldn't be surprised if they are able to hold here. Austria's going to be able to hold this LOC. They have three units. Four units, something like that, left. They just have to hold the LOC. Mr. Green unit is very tired. They gotta stop moving them and let them rest. As here we go, um, this Swedish pushing up here. France needs to get his dragoons out of there. They're gonna start out flanking and starting to drop this French line. A lot of Swiss. Got some grenadiers in the center. More Swiss over here, more Swiss, more Swiss, so heavy Swiss. But they got them formed up in a very good formation here. We have Voltsigers now rolling up. Let's watch out for that now, Rod. Swiss now trying to outflank, but here comes Sweden. Sneaking up behind the good old Swiss. And they, the with the trees, they may actually not see this. Oh, they, there's canister shot firing from that gun, and they're going to route this Swiss unit so fast. So, uh, France probably is going to notice this too late. But uh, I think the... Oh. We have Narod going against the Dragoons of France here. And Narod outflank. Perhaps we will see. Um, if anything, they're distracting a lot of cab while Sweden makes a big old push. Now, over here, it looks like those Cressiers got broken by the heavies of uh, Sweden. And Austria over here is just still holding as France has the National Guard left. That's not going to hold very well against this whole force. Um, yeah, th these heavies need to get back. These Dragoons need to get back over here. And now the link is getting turned here. We see some Voltigeurs running as uh, the Swedish are charging in here. And a nice volley from the side and then a bayonet charge going in here. They may break, the French may break this Jaeger. It's not going to matter because more infantry are going to go in and break them. And France is in trouble here. You see this flank is getting turned. And the Nowrod managed to finally outflank the French here. And it would appear they are now going to start crushing, chipping away at this French line. This is the last French army. And honestly, with how heavy the losses were, I am surprised at this outcome thus far. Um, I think if the French had been a little better, 
I think a mine just went off. And yeah, these guys, I think, got killed by a mine. Yeah, look at that. Just triggered it. Well, that was exciting. Um, we do have some uh, militia running, interestingly enough. Some French way back here that should be pushing forward trying to protect that French flank. Don't know who's in this house, but they have been firing this entire time. There we are. So France had some units in this house. Sweden cannot, I think, take on this 10-point France without help of their ally here. And we are, what, 25 minutes in? Or something like that? But Sweden seems to be doing beautifully here. Um, they're going, this flank may actually die, so Sweden needs to be very cautious here. You guys can't last forever now. They are kind of like the UK with their range, accuracy, reloading speed. Kind of like the UK. Um, but they may be taking some heavy losses here. They do still have some cab, but they're going to start pushing up. I think they're trying to get some heavy pressure put on this um, left flank of the French. We do have the Ottomans showing up here. They're probably going to start just shooting the Swiss unit. Artillery still chipping away at the French right. Uh, Sweden did lose some units on this uh, left flank. Got more cav fighting. I think that Dragoon has finally been outdone as uh, the heavies of uh, the Ottomans showed up. And finally put their reign of terror to it end last fight seems to be the uh, this one French player now they do have a lot of troops here um, and if they play it right I don't I don't know if they can win because the Cav is heavily against them and the Ottomans are showing up here let's look at this they're just going to chip away at these guys. Yeah, they're just, just chipping away at the, the French. Interesting unit comps, to be sure. We got Cav pushing over here. Nowrod charging some line infantry. A general as well rushing up to inspire their men. Nowrod may have lost a lot in the beginning, but they have been very, very crucial and pivotal in helping break this uh, French army. And these guys cannot form square either. And they're gonna go in for the uh, French, perhaps? No, they're gonna just retreat here. I'm surprised these heavies haven't gone in for the French. The French are gonna fall back here. Here we go. These guys are exhausted, probably. No, they're active. They're going to charge the flank, and France is going to start caving here. And more cab going to go in. The rest of the French are going to start falling back here, probably towards the LOC. Elva is in this town center to help defend it. What a town center, you know, to defend. Full of dead horses. <laughs> dead horses everywhere. It's like World War One. Got a guy that in awkward position there. I think this is where the French general died. Yeah. French Gen died right over here in this courtyard. It's a grand courtyard, to be sure. Alright guys, so I think this battle is basically over. I think this is gonna be a heavy this is gonna be a massive French loss. Not a massive, but a French loss. And uh, I'm going to skip ahead because it looks like the French are just kind of falling back here. Now they're going to keep pouring in some volleys here. Sweden is going to roll up with their heavies and uh, probably just going to kind of roll this French line over. Uh, you can see they're having some wavering. They're actually starting to have some losses over here. The skirmishers are just filling up this town square. And uh, the French are having some massive wavering. I think it's about to be a mass route here. As yet, yeah, here comes the mass route. I would assume. Yep. And that should be the battle. Oh, Elba. Elba's holding. 
It's a back to their to their allies kind of a situation here, as well as the LOC. So I guess you know. Um, there we go. There's the mass route. Um, there, yeah, that's it. And that should be the battle. All right, guys. Like I said, this one was sent in by Anderson playing as the uh, Austrians. So, looking at these different players, um, the French didn't bring as much as, well, I mean, some of them brought a lot, but uh, I think the undoing of the French was just those cav engagements where their heavies got committed. Now, look at these grenadiers in that house. They got a lot of kills. Didn't take a lot of losses here. Um, artillery, I don't think, did very much in this battlefield. Got 14 kills. I wish you could see all the different, you know, factions, like double-click on this one and see what it was, but... Um, you see the kills, um, yeah, all around, all around kind of supporting and, uh, doing their thing. So I hope you enjoyed this battle, guys, um, more to come this weekend, so, uh, stay tuned, and also the live stream for NTW3 this Friday at, uh, 1 p.m. Mountain Time, so, uh, usually that's, as a general rule, I'll stream every Friday at that time, so, um, Yes, have a great Easter day. Stay safe, and I will catch you all in another video.